What you know about cooking with static? What you know, what you know about cooking with static, huh? What you know about cooking with static? What you know, what you know about cooking with static, huh? What's up, y'all? It's your boy Static 2 Fresh representing Oceanside to the fullest. And this is Cooking with Static episode 5. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, right now we got the shirts. You get your Cooking with Static shirt. You get your Static 2 Fresh shirt. Let me know what size you need, you feel me? Give me an offer. We either accept or decline. And that's how I run my business. I appreciate everybody that's done bought a shirt before already. And everybody that's supported me to this day. And let's keep building. Let's keep this thing going. And yeah. So you know for episode 5, I got to get you right. So for this episode, man, we making some bacon, shrimp, pasta, feel me? Let's get to it. I ain't even going to talk about it. Let's just do it. So these are the main ingredients you're going to need to make this bacon and shrimp pasta. You feel me? Clearly, you're going to need some bacon. <laughs> I got half a bell pepper. I got half an onion. I got some shrimp. Some serious shrimp. It's already defrosted, so you feel me? Let's get it. Then you got your noodles. You got your sauce. A little oil. Your seasonings. Regular stuff, you feel me? It's nothing too complicated. So we're gonna get straight to this bacon and shrimp pasta, you feel me? Let's get it. So first thing is first, you feel me? First thing I do is get the shrimp ready, you feel me? So you see this shit? We gotta get the tails off them things, you feel me? So you just peel them things off real quick, real easy. Bam. Now once you get them all like that, Time to season them things up. So we just gonna put some seasoning on there. You don't really wanna overdo it, but it's kinda hard to overdo it, you feel me? Mix them things up. Get down and dirty if you got to. Go and grab them things, man. Can't be acting scary, you feel me? Mix it all in. Boom. Now that I got a season, all I'm gonna do is get some plastic wrap. Put it right over that. And now I'm going to just let it sit. So I was watching Million Dollars Worth of Game. It's actually a podcast on YouTube. Gilly the King and Wallow267. Shout out to Million Dollars Worth of Game. And they was giving a lot of information out. And they were telling, they were saying that 97% of podcasts don't even make it to the seventh episode. I'm like, that's pretty deep. You feel me? So I'm going to make sure we are that 3%. You feel me? I know this episode five, but you know what I mean? We're going to keep this thing going, you feel me? And then we're going to do a couple seasons and all that. So this is just the beginning. But yeah, man, random fact of the day. Yeah, that. So these are the skillets I'll be using today. This iron skillet for the bacon. I'll be using this for the noodles to boil the water and stuff. And I'll be using this to mix it all together. So we got no time to waste, so let's get straight to it. I'm gonna turn this one up to medium, let it heat up for a minute, right? Bam. That's what I'm gonna do to bacon, you feel me? And while I'm doing that, I might as well boil the water too, right? So I'm gonna just turn this one on high. Boom, boom, boom. You feel me? Put some water in here real quick, get that boiling. And as soon as that starts boiling, I'm gonna holler at y'all. So what I'm about to do right now, I'm gonna throw this bacon on, you feel me? What I have is two pieces of bacon right here cut in half. So I'm gonna just throw it on before I even cut the vegetables up, you did. Before we do the slice and dice. Throw them things on there. Make sure they right. And um, spread them out, you feel me? And then I'm gonna start cutting up these vegetables. So it's time to slice and dice. I got these, right? You see all that stuff on the inside? 
we get rid of that. If you've seen my past episodes, you know we get rid of that. I don't like the seeds. The seeds is not what I need. So we get rid of all of that. Half an onion. You peel the onion, you feel me? You definitely don't want that skin in. You feel me? Throw that out. Then it's time to slice and dice. So we're going to just start chopping it up. Chop it, chop it down. Chop it, chop it down. I know y'all know that shit. Don't be acting like you don't know that shit. <laughs> so you just start slicing and dicing. You feel me? Boom. Boom. You don't have to be perfect. Get them into small pieces. like that bell pepper same thing cut into small pieces boom just like that now the bacon's ready to be flipped so we just gonna flip some things you don't want to overcook it right take your time with the bacon We ain't in no rest. The water is boiling right now. So I'm about to get ready to put these noodles in there, you feel me? And what I usually do is I just put like half the box. I don't even use a full box, half a box. You're not feeding a bunch of people, so you feel me? Half a box, damn. Let that simmer down. Now, you don't want to overcook the noodles, y'all. So I'll put it down to medium. They start to shrivel down a little bit, so I'm gonna just mix it up real quick. You don't wanna overcook the noodles, so just keep it at a low temperature, you feel me? In between low and medium, you'll be all right. Now that we got the noodles going, you feel me? I'm about to turn this skillet on. This is where I'm gonna start getting the vegetables cooking on, you feel me? So we're gonna put it on medium, maybe a little high, a little bit, you know, above medium. Let that thing warm up, you feel me? Now while that's warming up, the bacon is looking pretty much done. It's looking real good. It's looking right. I'm gonna take them things off, man. I'm gonna just take them off. I'm gonna turn it off. I don't wanna overcook the bacon. You know how that go. You don't overcook the meat. You overcook the meat, then it's no good. It's a wrap. So I actually switched my skillet over here so it's easier for y'all to see. So it's warmed up, right? So I'm gonna throw a little oil in that thing. Never do too much, my brother. Never do too much. You feel me? Mix that thing around. Now it's time to throw them veggies in. Let's get straight to it. You hear that sizzle? You hear that sizzle? <laughs> I know y'all can hear it. I got the mic now. I know y'all can hear it. And I got the light, so I know y'all can see it with the brightness and shit. I know y'all can see me. <laughs> Cinematic mode. <laughs> so you just mix that thing around. I've been checking on the noodles. You make sure you don't overcook the noodles. They're almost about to be done in a minute. So yeah, man. So with the veggies, you just mix them around. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Bam. You just mixing things around. Now I know y'all probably forgot about the shrimp. Like, what did he do with the shrimp? Yeah, the shrimp is the last thing you put on that thing. It's not the first, you feel me? So be patient with me. You know what I mean? Shrimp coming soon. Just give it, give it some time, you know what I mean? It's all about the time. You feel me? Yeah, that. Now with the noodles, you gonna know it's done pretty much by the tenderness, you feel me? All I do with the noodles, I grab one of them things. Boom. Mm. I pretty much try it. See what the tenderness like. If you like the tenderness, you can turn it off. Me, I know I need to cook it a little longer, so I'm gonna let it sit about five more minutes. Move that thing around. You hear that? So this is the part of the podcast where 
I show y'all some unreleased music that I haven't released. Man, y'all check out this song. Let me know what you think in the comments. You feel me? Follow me on Instagram. Check out my music on Spotify, Static 2 Fresh with a number 2. I'll spell it right here for you so it's real easy. And yeah, man, let's keep let's keep building. This that coffee in the AM. Uh, yeah, you know that I ain't playing. Uh, yeah. How do I come up? I ain't talking about Folgers. Two fingers up to my ex and my old girls. Hit her with the deuces. Zoom, I'm gone. Girl, you toxic. Leave me alone. Gotta regain my focus. You messing in my zone. Trying to replace me. Got you looking for a clone. I'ma do me. Hitting tree from the bone. She can feel hella stupid when a brother get on. Y'all rocking with it? Check out the music I got out right now, too. You feel me? Uh, recently, I just dropped Recovery Blunt, a single. I dropped Focus Right, another single. And I'm about to drop Pikachu on the 14th of July. So we just gonna stay consistent, you know, keep dropping music. I got a lot of unreleased music that we gotta get to the world. So we definitely gonna put that out. It's all about timing though, you feel me? And how you present it to the world. So yeah, man, I just wanna say thank y'all for staying locked in with me. Yeah, and I know some of y'all niggas thought I was gonna stop making music and shit. You done lost your motherfucking mind. We ain't never gonna stop making music. This is what I really do, feel me? That's never gonna happen. So y'all can keep dreaming, but we gonna keep rocking. We ain't never stopping. That's what it is. All right. Uh, Benji's looking like they about ready. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the noodles. Let me try another one. See what the tenon is like. You know? All right. That's good. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn that off, right? So, boom. Next thing I'm going to do is time for the shrimps. I know y'all been waiting. It's time for the shrimps. Hold on a second. Before I do the shrimps, I gotta drain the noodles. You feel? So with the shrimps, right? This is what the shrimp is like. Boom. I cut that in half. Cut all of them in half. You feel me? Bam. Cause I don't want them to be too big. You feel me? To where I can't even take a bite out of it. You know what I'm saying? Cut them things straight in half. I'm gonna make sure ain't no shell. Ain't no shell on your shrimp. You got shell on your shrimp? I feel bad for you, my brother. <laughs> Keep slicing and dicing. Boom. Now they like that in halves. Boom. You throw them things straight in with the veggies. Bam. Boom. You feel me? Mix that thing up. Now you gonna know the shrimp is cooked when it starts to get pink and stuff. I'm gonna show you though. Just give it, give it some time. Let it sit for about two, three, five minutes. Look at that. Can y'all hear that? I know y'all can hear that. I got the mic, bruh. This gotta be high definition cinematic mode like on some movie shit. You heard? <laughs> so you just keep mixing that thing. Mix it around. You wanna start to see the shrimp getting a little pink. Once it starts getting like pink, you know what I mean? You know it's starting to cook. I would say let it sit for about maybe two to three more minutes. See what it's looking like. But what I am finna do is I'm gonna throw a little seasoning on there. You feel me? I like my shit flavorful. So you know what I'm saying? Throw some more flavor on that thing, man. It's all about the flavor. No, you wish you could smell this. Look at that, man. Look at that. Can we zoom in or something? Don't that look good? <laughs> Keep mixing that thing around. It's almost we getting there. We getting there. looking about right. I'm not gonna lie. Look at the shrimp. Can you see the shrimp? 
Look at the color of the shrimp, though. You see that? Can you see that? Hopefully we can zoom in. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's how you know it's right. That's how you know it's right. So now that that's cool, we're gonna throw the sauce in. Now this is like some different, this is like the vodka sauce. You can do whatever kind of sauce though. You can do Alfredo. You know, it's up to you. Get creative with it, man. Don't limit yourself. Throw that thing in there. I've actually never tried it with this sauce, so you know what I mean? I'm experimenting too with y'all, so yeah, just mix it all together. Try to get it evenly spread out, you know? Mix it all together. I honestly think this sauce is like for spaghetti, bro. But look, how I do things, I improvise. I make it work with what I got. No excuses. If you have me, go stream my song, No Excuses, out of all platforms. Check it out. There's no excuses. I'm going to let that sit for about five more minutes. So you're going to see it start to bubble. Just mix it around. Keep mixing it around. It's looking like it's about done, though. I ain't going to lie. So what I'm going to do is... Now... Remember when I made that bacon? Now we're just going to break it up in there, bro. Like little pieces. Break it up in pieces, man. Just break it up in pieces, you dig? Try to spread it all throughout so we can get a bite of bacon in every bite. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal. mix it around spread it all throughout you want to buy the bacon and everybody you understand me I almost forgot I almost forgot the secret ingredient voila la cheese man wouldn't it be right without the cheese? You know what I mean? I'm going to cheese it up, too. I'm not playing no games. I'm not playing no games. Mm. And then once the cheese is melted, man, we done. It's time to eat. I'm hungry. It's time to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> Mix it around. I'm gonna put it on low. Cheese is starting to melt. I'm gonna let it melt a little more. And then I'm about to make a plate. I'm hungry. I ate all day. I've been waiting patiently. Patiently so I could get y'all this episode. <laughs> and that was my favorite, my favorite part of the show. It's time to eat. Sir, you know what it is, dog. It's time to eat. This bacon shrimp pasta. I'm gonna throw some Parmesan cheese on there. Let's see what it tasting like. You feel me? Make sure I get some shrimp in there. Some bacon in there. Ooh, that look nice. Mm. 
That's different. That's different. I like it. Mm-hmm. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this recipe. If you would try it. You know what I mean? It's pretty good, honestly. Something I haven't done before, but it's it's a smacker. It's definitely static certified. So if you made it this far in the episode, I want to let you know I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in to Cooking with Static, episode 5. We're going to keep these episodes rolling out. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep dropping content for y'all. Keep dropping music for y'all. Man, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, Static 2 Fresh on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram, at Static 2 Fresh. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, come cop a shirt, man. Hey. Come support her, brother. If you really support her, brother, you see we got the cooking with static. Come holla at me. And that's what it is. Thank y'all for staying locked in with me. I appreciate y'all. This was Cooking with Static, episode five. And I'll see y'all next time. What you know about cooking with static? What you know, what you know about cooking with static, huh? What you know about cooking with static? What you know, what you know about cooking with static, huh?